Hey guys, this is Daniel James, and we're going through the tutorial for Chapter 3 of Dragon Box. Start with level 1. We have a new feature. You can now place a card next to another card on top in the numerator, but you just have to do that everywhere. Now we can cancel these two out, get rid of the one, and there we go. Now here, we'll place it in the numerator, everywhere, cancel these two, get rid of the one. Okay, now, we'll take this one on top, everywhere, cancel, get rid of the one. Flip this bug to the opposite, put it on top, there, cancel, get rid of the one. Here we can get rid of these two. Now put the bug, a uh, fish, on top everywhere. Cancel these two out. Now get rid of this one first. Then we can get rid of this one. Level five. Let's start off by getting the opposite dragon on both sides so we can cancel that out. Now we'll put the bug on top everywhere and the numerator everywhere. Cancel it out here, get rid of the one. We're now on level six. Put the box, put it on top. Now we'll get the opposite of the one on both sides so that we can do that. Now we'll put this blue worm on top everywhere. So we can now cancel it here, cancel it here. Get rid of this one, and get rid of that one. So now, we'll put this one on top, here, and here. Cancel these, get rid of the one. Now we're going to take this green fish and put it underneath this group, which means we also have to put it underneath this group. Cancel these two, get rid of the one. And there we go. Next. Here we all are on level 8. Let's start off by getting rid of this dragon so we'll get the opposite of it onto both sides. Cancel that. Now we'll take this bug and put it on top everywhere so that we can now cancel these and get rid of the one. Now we'll get this fish, which means the opposite of this, put it on the denominator everywhere. Cancel those two. There we go. Next. Now we are on level 9. Let's start off by getting rid of these two and the one. So now we can just get rid of those two. We'll take this three and put it on top everywhere. Cancel that three, get rid of the one. Now we'll get the inverse five right here, and put it underneath everywhere. Cancel these five, get rid of the one. Now we're on level 10, we'll take this and put it in the numerator everywhere. Cancel these out, get rid of that one, now get rid of this one. level 11. So we're going to start off with taking the box and putting it in the numerator. Cancel that box out on the, this side. Get rid of the one. We'll take the slug and put it in the denominator there and here. Cancel that out. Get rid of the one. Alright, here's level 12. We'll take the box and put it on top everywhere. Cancel it here. Get rid of the one. Now we want the box to get isolated, so let's take this blue beetle and put it on top everywhere. Which means we can cancel it on both sides and get rid of those ones. Take the orange slug, put it in the denominator everywhere. Cancel that out. Get rid of that one. There we go. 
Okay, now here, level 13, let's start off with getting rid of this C. So we'll put C on the bottom everywhere. Cancel those C's out and get rid of that one. Now we'll put an H in the numerator on both sides and cancel that out and get rid of the one. Level 14. Let's start off by putting this B in the numerator everywhere. These cancel out. Get rid of the A. Now we'll put an A everywhere in the numerator. Get rid of these two A's, which means we can get rid of those two A's. And these two B's, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times A is A, 1 times the box is the box. All right, here we have purely a mathematical function. So let's start off by getting rid of the 2. We'll take a 2 and put it in the denominator everywhere, which means we can cancel these two 2's out and get rid of the 1. Now here's a negative 5, so we'll make this a negative, put it in the numerator there and here, which means we can cancel those 2 out, get rid of the 1, and there is a box. Alright, here we have more mathematical numbers and, uh, and variables. Let's start off by getting rid of the threes. Zero is the same as this green swirly, so you can just get rid of it. Um, now we'll take this box and put it in the numerator on both sides. Cancel those boxes out. Get rid of the one. Now I'll put an A in the numerator everywhere. Get rid of the A's. Get rid of the one. Next, level 17. We'll start off by putting the C in the numerator everywhere. Cancel those. Cancel those. Now we'll put the box in the numerator, both sides. Get rid of the box there. Get rid of the 1 and the 1. Alright, here, let's start off by getting rid of the A. Put an A in the numerator, both sides. Get rid of the A's, get rid of the 1. Now we'll put in uh, the box in the numerator. Cancel that one. Get rid of the 2. Oops, let's actually start that over. Let's start off by in the A in the numerator, both sides, get rid of the A's. Now let's put a 2 in the denominator. Sorry, I started that one more time. I got it. Take the box, put it on top in both areas. Get rid of this box, get rid of the 1. Now we'll put a 3 in the denominator. Cancel that 3, get rid of the 1, and there you go. Two more levels. Level 19. So here, instead of a box, we have the x. So we're solving for x, so we want to isolate the x on one side. Let's start off by getting the opposite of c on both sides. Okay. Get rid of that zero. Now we'll put an A in the denominator everywhere. Cancel those A's out. Get rid of the one. Now we'll take the B and put it in the numerator everywhere. So now we can cancel those B's out. X times one equals X.
Alright, for lesson 20, let's start off by going to putting a 5 on top everywhere. So now we can cancel these 5s, get rid of the 1. Now, here's the tricky part. Keep the opposite of A up here, so we can get rid of that. Now, 5 in the denominator everywhere, so we can cancel that, get rid of the 1, cancel that, and get rid of the 1. Now that, hmm. there we go, that concludes chapter 3.